Well, good morning. This is George. Last week I was running Barracks Trail in Utah, and I had the air down to about 12 pounds. Well, overnight it got down into the 20s and the tire pressure dropped even more. I didn't pay attention to that, got back on the trail, and ended up losing the bead on the tire. Well, the quick fix was to swap out with a spare, which is exactly what I did. After I got back, I saw another cool video where this guy was able to reseat the bead on the tire using a five gallon Homer bucket and some Windex and a low capacity air compressor. I thought to myself, self, I typically carry these things. So I'm going to try to reproduce what he was able to do. Now, obviously I'm not on the trail. I'm at home but I'm going to use the same equipment here that I have on the trail. Hold up, where's the video? Google listens to what I say, and we were out on the trail talking about how to rebead this tire. And as soon as I got back home, there's this video waiting for me to show me how to rebead the tire. Well, I searched my Google history, and I cannot find that video. So, amazing dude that made a video with the Homer bucket, sorry. I can't find your video. I can't give you the kudos that you deserve here in this video. I have blue towels. I have windshield juice. Not a Homer bucket. It's my kitty litter bucket. And you can go ahead and use your imagination what I use the kitty litter bucket for. Low volume-ish air compressor. Yes, I carry an impact set on the trail. Pretty much just washing the sand off of this bead. This bead seems to be almost ready to bake. The water's not leaking. I think this bead's good. Now the guy in the video had his tire on top of the bucket. Like so. I can feel the beads seeding already. We're up to 10 pounds. Boom! Whoa, baby! It's seated! Well, I gotta say, that guy in that video is pretty smart. So it's pumping right up. Well, now that we're done reinflating the tire, I've got to say, that guy with his homer bucket, he was right on there. <laughs> 